So I can recall many times over the years where I have been heavily influenced by other people in a sense of if there was something that I liked or something that I wanted to pursue and other people didn't think that that was a good idea or I would somehow be like rejected from the group uh, or outcast maybe, then I would tend to just avoid doing those things because I never really wanted to feel alone. And that was something that used to cause me a lot of anxiety, especially when I was younger. Now, of course, when you're a teenager anyway, you're kind of going to have that peer pressure scenario play out where, you know, you don't really want to be outcast. You want to fit in. You want to be seen as the popular guy or the guy that everyone wants to hang out with and be around. And so, I kind of found myself in a lot of occasions growing up believing that that was the way to be, that it was better to fit in than to do the things that I wanted to do in life. But that never really left me fulfilled. And I always kind of felt quite empty because I was just either doing things that I didn't want to do. Like if I had an interest, let's say, in seeing a movie and no one else wanted to see that movie, they wanted to go and see something else that I wasn't really fussed to go and see and I would be going to do it just to appease other people, I would kind of be feeling quite deflated, like not going to see a movie that I wanted to. And I never really had that confidence to go and see a movie or go to the cinema on my own and just go and watch something that I knew that I would just thoroughly enjoy. And that certainly turned around for me when I did get involved in the dating community, because when I suddenly started to find my voice and my own confidence, it really kind of developed, I think, my own independence as well, which is usually something that not just myself lacked, but I think what most men lack when they don't have uh, the appropriate social skills or independence to go and live a life that will make them feel really fulfilled and a life that they really want to go and do. So guys then don't tend to take action and they tend to miss out on the finer things in life, whether it be because of maybe how their peers are going to make them feel, you know, maybe even not just friends, but family as well. But I think they also train themselves and they can be their own worst enemy and put themselves down and into believing that, no, they shouldn't pursue something that they want or that they desire. Now, some of the some of the best guys that I know in the dating industry, they get the most amazing results with women simply because they've learned to overcome this particular issue. And one of those reasons why they've done it is because they no longer essentially conform to this social ladder and they try and live life on like a day by day basis just solely based around doing the things that they want to do and whether or not they've got that anxiety or fear to taking action towards it they try and do that anyway and that's what they tend to focus on which in a way is really just what self-improvement is about it's about facing your fears taking action and moving forward with your life and developing your confidence to a point that you can be more happy and fulfilled with doing the things that you want to do but when you can step away from this conformity of this social ladder to you know, if people want you to stay as you are and you agree to that, then you'll never really be happy. I think it's when you start realizing that actually, if you do the things that you want to do, yes, you might repel some people, but you're also going to attract people who have those similarities to you and same interests as you do. And that's where you then really do find your tribe and you will be your most confident version. So if you're feeling ashamed about going for things that you want, don't be. It's simply because you have been told by people or even maybe you've just trained yourself to put yourself down and you believe that by not going for something that you want, 
that is what is going to make people like you more. The reality is actually you are better to go on this hero's journey and work on your confidence, face your fears, or at the very least, do the things that you have an interest in. So like, I'm quite geeky. I actually really enjoy going to Comic-Con events. Now, there are people who are far geekier than me and I don't dress up in the cosplay stuff, but I like it. I love it. And I love when I go there and I get to speak to people who have very similar interests in the TV shows, the PlayStation games as me or movies and whatnot. And we've got something that we can connect on. And it's amazing how even on like the dating side of things, and I've met people through these dating, uh, not dating events, through these Comic-Con events. And it's amazing just how many relationships can be formed by meeting people who have those same similarities or interests to you. And again, that comes from you doing the things that you want to do, not what other people want to do, or not what people tell you you can't do and what you should do, but you're going to find your happiness and you're going to have the least root of anxiety when you do the things that you want to do. And you have to do the things that really make you happy. So I don't want to necessarily fall into the trap of, you know, uh, kind of being this like repeating um, broken record of sorts. So I will just leave you with this, this final message. And that is you should never feel ashamed for doing the things that you want to do. Now, if you are someone who doesn't have a dating life and you want a dating life, don't let anyone tell you otherwise what you can't have. If you need to go out and practice your social skills through cold approaching or going to events or going to a coach and whatnot, then do it. That is your journey. That's not for anyone else to judge and critique it. And if people don't see this justifiable reason that you want to find yourself a girlfriend, you want to get married and have kids, or maybe you just want to have fun and you want to meet women because maybe that wasn't ever something that you ever had the opportunity to do, then do it. That is your prerogative. That's not for anyone else to worry or concern themselves about. Now, absolutely, everyone is allowed their own opinion, but that doesn't mean that you have to accept it. So don't ever be afraid to go for the things that you want. And if you want to learn how to be better with meeting women and you want to develop that confidence in your life, you're absolutely entitled to do that. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and a lot of the content on my channel, I really do hope is going to help you to see this message and it's going to help you to develop that confidence or the ability to push yourself to go for the things that you want in life. Now, I always kind of use like cold approaching as a really good uh, lubricant uh, of, of benefits that's going to just affect you in all areas of your life. I mean, like I've known people who have done cold approaching, just not even for dating, but just for the skill of getting used to develop their independence. And then even for some, they've either gone on to start their own businesses because of the skills, the life skills that they've learned from it, or they've gone back to their nine to five jobs and they've had the confidence to ask for a promotion. So there really is a lot to be said when you learn to pursue your own way of doing things and you find your developmental flow with your confidence. So I won't make this sound too woo, but if anything, I really do hope that you uh, can really grasp the message from this video. I know it's something that I learned very early on and I hope it's something uh, also, you can learn very early on in your kind of like path to enlightenment too, especially, you know, if you are someone who never goes for the things that they want in life. And now you're like, you know what? I never thought I could have a girlfriend. Now I want to get one. Work your ass off for it. And I can promise you one day, hopefully in the very near future, you certainly will. 
So like the video, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more content that's going to help you to overcome your anxiety. And if you do find that you need some help as well, by all means, do check out my website and I offer coaching and support to help you on that journey too. That is a final reminder. You've got to do the things that you want to in life. Don't let other people put you down or turn you off of those things because you're not going to feel fulfilled otherwise.